Hey, welcome to dividing multi-digit numbers using long division. Let's do a quick refresh to make sure you're really solid on these skills. So the first problem we have is 8,729 divided by 56. So first we need to ask ourselves, if I've got 56, I need to see, see how many groups of 56 I can make using my first digit, which is 8. Well, I can't make any groups of 56 using just 8, so I'm going to go next door and I'm going to grab the next digit. Now I'm working with 87. And I can think of 56 when I'm trying to figure out how many groups I can make. I'm going to tell myself 56 is almost, remember this is a squiggly almost, and almost equal to 50. So how many groups of 50 could I make using 87? Well, I could only make one because two groups of 50 would be 100, and that's way off. So I'm going to make one group of 56. 1 times 56 is 56. Do my subtracting. 7 minus 6 is 1. 8 minus 5 is 3. And bring it down. Hey. So there I've got 312. So now using my strategy of thinking of 56 like 50, I'm going to think of 312. What's 312 really close to? Almost the same as 300. So how many groups of 50 could go into 300? Well, I could make six groups of 50 because 5 times 6 is 30. So 5 times, or 6 times 50 is 300. So I'm going to try that and see what happens. Let's get all this extra stuff out of my way. I'll put my 312 back. Let's see what happens when I make six groups of 56. 56 times 6. 6 times 6 is 36. 6 times 5 is 30 plus 3 more. 336. So let's do the let's look at that. I can see that that's too big. I don't have enough to make six groups, so I have to go one less. So I don't have enough to make six groups. I only have enough to make five groups. Five times six is 30, zero. Carry the three. Five times five is 25, 26, 27, 28, 28. So I have 280, let's do our subtracting. Two minus zero is two. One minus eight, oh, I'll have to borrow. There we go, 11 minus eight is three, and two minus two is zero. Now we've done our subtracting, we can bring down our next digit. So we're doing 329. I still don't have enough. I needed 336 to make six groups, so I still only have enough to make five groups. Five times six is 30, zero. Carry the three. Five times five is 25, 26, 27, 28. 28. And I'll do my subtracting. Nine minus zero is nine. Two minus eight, can't do it. We'll do some borrowing. 12 minus eight is four. Two minus two is zero. So that leaves me with 49. So here's the last thing I need to do. Look at your remainder. I don't have anything else over here to bring down. So I'm not bringing anything down. Look at your remainder and compare it to your divisor. Your remainder has to be smaller than your divisor. 49 is smaller than 56, so I know I'm safe there. I always check that. Oops. Let's fix that. There we go. All right, which means we have a remainder of 49, R49. Awesome. All right, so let's use that exact same strategy over here with this next problem. I'm going to change colors so it's easy to see. We have 7,825 divided by 24. All right. So let's look at 24. How many groups of 24 can I make with 7? Well, I can't make any. 7's not big enough. So let's go next door and grab 78. So I can use my same thinking like strategy and say 24 is almost 25. I know 25 is in three different like orders. So if I had 25 cents, if I had three 25 cents, that would give me 75 cents. So three times 25 is 75. That's really close to 78. So I'm going to guess that I can make three groups of 24. Three times four is 12. Two carry the one. Three times two is six plus one more is seven. Yeah, that was a good one. 8 minus 2 is 6. 7 minus 7 is 0. All right, we did our subtracting. Time to bring down our next digit. So I don't have enough to make three groups of 24, so I can see that I'm going to have two groups. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 2 is 4. Do my subtracting. 2 minus 8, can't do it. Borrow. So 12 minus 8 is 4. 5 minus 1 is 1. 5 minus 4 is 1. And bring down my 5. All right, so using my same strategy here of thinking of 24 as being almost 25, so it's like a quarter, 
how many quarters would get me really close to? Well, 145 is really close to 150, which is like $1.50. So if I were going to count by 25s, I could say 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, 150. So that's six. So let's check it over here since we're kind of guessing. Let's see if we could do 24 times six to get it close to that. So 24 times six. Six times four is 24. Six times two is 12, plus two more is 14. Ooh, 144, look how close that is. So six times four is 24. Six times two is 12, plus two more is 14. Let's do the math. We've got one left. Is one smaller than 24? It is, so we can have a remainder of one. So there you go. That is how we are solving our long division problems.